a journey like me, I started it 37 years ago. 37 years from now, for you, will be 20 skiste. Ask yourself, what will you be by 20 skiste? For me, after 37 years, I'm a lieutenant general, and I'm a deputy CDF, but also a member of parliament. What about you? Are you start your journey? You need to take note of this. One, the army is not a job. If you came looking for a job in the military, this is not a job. It is a service, a service to our people, and a service that demands sacrifice at all times. Remove anything called job in whatever you have started today. Because there is nobody who can pay for your life. Nobody in this world can pay for your life. You have decided to give your lives for the people of Uganda. Not only Uganda, but of Africa and the world. Please remember that. Then you will be able to walk like me for 37 years without any problems. Two, run away from the desires of this world. Run away from the desires of your body, your flesh. Women, drinking, soft life, vehicles, what? Riches. Run away from them because they will lead you to disgrace and at worst, death. Human beings are not about to accept to live in peace and harmony in this planet. Even Jesus, when he came, he said, he has not brought peace, but he has brought a sword. Where a son will turn against his father, a tribe will turn against a tribe, nation against a nation. So not until he comes back, that's when we shall see peace. But as of now, so long as he's not yet back, we have to prepare for war all the time. I also want to take this opportunity on behalf of the Chief of Defense Forces. We do not take this for granted because it's not rare that you have this type of time to come and check on us. But we know your presence here always demonstrates your relentless commitment and passion in every activity that we do as UPDF. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for being a good shepherd. Your Excellency, this group is part of the Kaweta group, which you uh, recently passed out. They were also supposed to pass out as soon as possible, but because of, of some challenges, we couldn't. But today, it is their day. It's a day that the Lord had prepared for them. Your Excellency, we shall continue taking note of your strategic guidance in building a professional, patriotic, and disciplined force that will remain focused on maintaining peace and stability in our country and the region at large through continuous training and retraining. As UPDF leadership, we are well aware of the security challenges that affect our country and our region. Not only the region, but the world at large. Our preparedness to respond to those challenges is what matters. Human beings are not about to accept to live in peace and harmony in this planet. And that is why we must prepare. Even Jesus, when he came, he said, he has not brought peace, but he has brought a sword. 
where a son will turn against his father, a tribe will turn against a tribe, nation against a nation. So not until he comes back, that's when we shall see peace. But as of now, so long as he's not yet back, we have to prepare for war all the time. <laughs> Therefore, Your Excellency, we shall keep on presenting to you, young people like these ones, to continue with the mission of keeping peace and security in our country. I know the school has so many challenges, but we shall do what it takes within the resources we have to make sure that this school becomes a center of excellence, just like all other institutions which you directed. To the trainees who are passing out today, congratulations for successfully uh, finishing your course, your training. I know it has not been easy. And I want to say that you are a very blessed group. It has never happened that you have here the President of the Republic, Sabalwani. You must take this day very serious in your lives because it is not an ordinary day in your lives. What you need to remember in this journey, which you are starting now. A journey like me, I started it 37 years ago. 37 years from now, for you, will be 20 skiste. Ask yourself, what will you be by 20 skiste? For me, after 37 years, I'm a Lieutenant General, and I'm a deputy CDF, but also a member of parliament. What about you? As you start your journey. You need to take note of this. One, the army is not a job. If you came looking for a job in the military, this is not a job. It is a service, a service to our people, and a service that demands sacrifice at all times. Remove anything called job in whatever you have started today. Because there is nobody who can pay for your life. Nobody in this world can pay for your life. You have decided to give your lives for the people of Uganda. Not only Uganda, but of Africa and the world. Please remember that then you will be able to walk like me for 37 years without any problems. Two, run away from the desires of this world. Run away from the desires of your body, your flesh. Women, drinking, soft life, vehicles, what? Riches. Run away from them because they will lead you to disgrace and at worst, death. Focus on your calling because the military is a calling. Focus on your job. That's what you must focus on. Forget about these other things. You will get whatever you deserve to get. Don't go for what is not yours. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. The other thing, that you need to take note. Respect the civilians. For it is the reason we are serving. Without them, we are as good as useless. We must serve them diligently and with humility. The other thing, maintain both military and personal discipline. For that is where your future lies. It's about your discipline, personal and military. When you focus on that, you will be able to live a long life in your service of this country. To the instructors and the commandant, thank you very much. I congratulate you. Well done. You have done your part. Wish you all the best. 
We can't thank you more than that. Honorable. Ngo kolebio. Ngo kolebio. Ngo kolebio.